Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for having me today. As the climate action and youth leadership is our main theme of our meeting today, it is a crucial fact that we need to remember for sustainable development. If we are intending to create a better tomorrow, we need to make a certain improvements in our lives. And to make improvements, we need to make some certain changes. Some certain changes will come quickly and some will take some very, very long time. However, if we do nothing, nothing will happen. So we have to ensure a better future for next generations by considering that our surroundings and the environment do affect us. One minute. Excuse me, everyone, everyone mute their, uh, their uh, uh, mics, please. Listen to the parties, uh, listen yes. to the speaker first. So yes, hello. Unmute, unmute, um, unmutation is uh, interrupting to everyone. Mute. Everyone. Hello, should I come back? Please. Now, Madam Shani, please. Sorry for interruption. All right. That, that's very good. Uh, thank you very much for every participant for bringing their background and that important environmental input as well. Because of these constant changes, uh, we need to tackle, first of all, the issues that affect us. We need to create a cleaner, healthier and safer environment for everyone. We need to all become actively involved and we should look at the changes which we can immediately make, like muting ourselves, for example. When these improvements kept in sustainable development discipline, the developments will automatically meet the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. The quality of human life will be improved also with supporting the ecosystem. Shortly, living today with our minds in tomorrow does require to highlight the issues and to look at the actions we are going to take. Of course, we need to have a set of goals and a brand of new action plan fulfilled with a global vision which would help to move towards a more sustainable future. In a sustainable world, we would have access to decent food, water, shelter and fuel at a reasonable cost, limit pollution of the air, land and water, use the resources efficiently, minimize waste and recycle protect the variety of wildlife, have a good health, protect by a good environment and health services which emphasize the prevention of illness and give proper care for the sick. We will be able to access to the services and people we need while causing this damage to the environment. We will have better access to the skills, knowledge, and information, which will enable us to play our full part in society. In a sustainable world, we will also have the opportunity to undertake satisfying work and have the value of unpaid work recognized. We would meet our local needs better and locally live without fear of personal violence and crime, would have a wider opportunity for culture, leisure, and reaction, recreation. Plus, most importantly, for now and tomorrow again, we would empower all the sectors to participate. If only we show solidarity in these global action plans, should be involved. For example, together, we will work towards reducing poverty. We will focus on education. This including the environmental education. We will work for equality and will eliminate discrimination. We will raise more awareness of the crucial role of nature and natural systems, which supporting the daily life. We will implement a stronger and more enhanced public participation process which will include the new challenges as well, those coming with COVID-19 challenge. We will increase provision of primary health care with facilities 
and in local communities, we will make everything available to local communities straight to the point. We will improve information on links between health issues and environmental issues. We will reshuffle and enhance the current waste management plans and will encourage the businesses to collaborate more with locals in order to take more responsibilities to set up joint environmental initiatives. We will reconsider the water usage plans and set new goals adapting to new challenges for sustainable future. We will introduce stricter controls for sustainable energy generation and to reduce pollution. We will enhance the planning policies and practices to favor green field and communal garden space. We will focus in training, in education, with targeted skills development, taking the environmental technology and sustainability in core. We'll also encourage more research works for new renewable energy projects. We'll enhance the existing legislations and we'll adapt to those to our current and potential future needs to ensure that energy efficiency is priority for everyone. To tackle the pollution again, we will invest into more efficient and affordable transport options. Eventually, every local administration will will collaborate with central administrations, then every central administration will collaborate with other global administrations. So we will be able to create this chain reaction from start, from beginning till today. Hence, we will enhance the existing practices into new and updated global dimension. So to achieve this, planning, dedication, solidarity, and strict controls will be essential elements to begin with. Otherwise, so many great solutions which potentially possible to achieve will remain unapplied. Here, the never-changing reality always will be. If we are not part of a solution, we automatically become a part of a problem and we don't want to be a part of a problem. Let's just work together. <laughs> Let's just work together, collaborate, for sustainable development, for the future of our children. Let's forget about what we are facing today. Let's just take these challenges in one hand, work for it and put them into a new action plan. We can make this, we can achieve this. We came today with all these challenges, we can achieve a better tomorrow. Thank you very much indeed.